We can speak now to Mpoma Semola. He is the Deputy Secretary of Ex-Political Prisoners. Thank you very much, sir, for your time this afternoon. Your initial thought when you heard the news. Hello. Good afternoon, Hello. sir. Hi, Papa. Your initial yeah. reaction when you heard the news. Yeah, um, the ex-political prisoners, actually, um, of South Africa, we are deeply saddened by the passing of the arch. And, uh, you know, um, it caught us with a very, you know, in a surprise mood. And uh, we are deeply saddened. And uh, we'd like to send our deepest heartfelt condolences to uh, his family, uh, comrades, uh, friends, um, you know, uh, also uh, into the religious uh, sector. Um, um, yes, indeed, uh, we are deeply saddened, and uh, we would like to send, um, you know, um, our condolences uh, to Umamlia and uh, um, her entire family. Um, it was a shock. We are deeply shocked, actually. The Archbishop has been described as a conscious somebody, and in 1955, when the then government introduced uh, the Bantu Education Act, he decided he could no longer participate uh, in a system that ensured the suffocation of black intellectuals, and that's when he went into the church. Just from your interaction as ex-political prisoners, tell us about the role that he played. Yeah, actually... Um, he kept the fires burning when we were all imprisoned at Robben Island. Um, you know, as you will know, he went also outside working together with um, the mass democratic formations, the UTF, and they also um, he was involved in uh, the international campaign on calling for the sanctions against apartheid. And uh, also, you know, dealing with issues of human rights. And uh, his participation into, you know, uh, the liberation struggle, uh, we saw him, you know, um, uh, presiding in the mass funerals in Soweto, uh, in Kukuletu. He was uh, on the f in the forefront of the struggle, you know, um, against, you know, um, apartheid uh, policies. And, uh, you know, um, he kept the fire burning, and uh, he was an inspiration to us while we were in prison. Um, also, after our release, he played a role on the reception committee where all the exiles and political prisoners were released and, uh, you know, um, taking care of their families by receiving the grants through the NCCHR, uh, you know, social grants, monthly grants. Uh, for us to be integrated back into the society. So um, uh, the bishop, the arch, was an icon, you know, world icon uh, on human rights issues. And uh, indeed, we have lost, you know, the last generation of, uh, you know, uh, the icons and the, you know, Madibas and the Sisulus. He played his role uh, on human rights issues, you know, in the struggle for liberation, and also on the pulpit also, in condemnation um, of apartheid uh, laws, together with Dr. Ellen Pusak. Um, yeah, we, we, sadly miss, we will sadly miss him, and uh, we deep down our penas, and uh, saying, Gwesanga uh, El Nyashama. Just this week, we got news of a key or one of the keys that was used um, at Nelson Mandela's prison or for his cell, um, news that is going to be auctioned uh, overseas after somebody here at home uh, sold it to an auction house uh, overseas. In terms of protecting the memory uh, of such icons as you call him, what is it that we can do as a country to acknowledge the role that has been played by those who came before us? Yes, actually, the Ex-Political Prisoners Association strongly condemned, you know, the auctioning of uh, one of our heritage. Remember, the key, uh, this master key, it was a master key that is used to open up all the sections at Robben Island, all the seven sections. 
Now, we strongly condemn Christo Brandt and his friends by stealing, you know, the, our heritage, the most important factor, because that tea, uh, actually, it now belongs to the state. It is a theft. The association in this coming weeks, we will embark on an action. We are going to open up a criminal a, a case against Christo Barnard and, uh, and his lieutenant, because uh, what we said is that uh, we, we presented a memorandum to the uh, Minister of Arts and Culture and Robben Island Museum to say all the artifacts that belong to the uh, political prisoners, uh, they must be audited into a lot book. So here comes this man who was part and parcel of the, uh, you know, um, oppression machinery, who locked us in prison and then uh, took an opportunity for his own selfish gain. Because our struggle was not for sale. Our struggle was not for sale. And then Christoph Banner, a brand, brand, cannot now uh, benefit out of our sweat and suffering for his selfish greed. Mr. Mpoma Semola is the Deputy Secretary of Ex-Political Prisoners. Thank you, sir, for your reflections this afternoon.